Well, back home, as the Modi government prepares the battle for a third term in power, the agricultural community, which wakes up uh, a sizable portion of the voting public, has some big hopes. CNBC TV 18 Santhya Gora reports that many farmers in Maharashtra hope that the interim budget, which will be presented on the 1st of February, will hold proposals that will improve their livelihoods, from measures that lower the cost of production to better prices for their crops to quicker disbursement of relief funds. Take a look. These four acres of land belong to 33-year-old Krishna Jadav of Sarole Khurd village in Maharashtra's Nashik district. And the grapes he has sown here cost him 8 lakh rupees. Then came unseasonal rains and destroyed half his crop. Jadav and his fellow farmers in the area say they really need their sowing and farming costs to come down if they are to make a living and survive any more climatic shocks. Production cost can be reduced. When the crop is reduced in the market, का टाइम आए उस टाइम उनको दाम कैसे ज़्यादा मिल सकता है उसके अलावा जो बैंकों के इंश्योरेंस है क्रॉप के लिए वो कम से कम प्रीमियम में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कैसे अगर कुछ नेचुरली हानि होती तो कैसे उनको मुनाफा मिलेगा ये चीज़ों पे ज़्यादा ध्यान देनी चाहिए a quicker disposal of compensation for crop damage is also a key ask since many of the farmers have been waiting for over a year for compensation for crops damaged and with every climatic disturbance since, the compensation due to them has only been piling up. Other demands include a review of government policies like an export ban on wheat, non-basmati rice and onion which result in income streams drying up. Sub subsidy ये करना चाहिए कि एक्सपोर्ट का निर्यात जो हर साल बंद करते हैं, चालू करते हैं, ये बंद चालू करना चाहिए। किसानों को सब्सिडी की कोई जरूरत नहीं। हमें भाव, यानी राष्ट्र भाव दे दो, सब्सिडी की कोई जरूरत नहीं। प्याज का मार्केट गिर गया है, अंगूर का मार्केट गिर गया है, एक्सपोर्ट होना चाहिए। � ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि जो भी चीजें खेती में लगती है उसका जीएसटी आप क्यों नहीं कैंसिल कर सकते? In 2015, when the Modi government's first full budget was read out, the allocation for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare was 25,460 crore rupees. This was increased to a little over 138,000 crores in 2022, and then cut slightly to 125,000 crores in budget 2023. This even as the government promised to double farmer incomes by 2022. Farmers say this has not happened, but hope the government in a run-up to the next general elections will move some largest their way. Experts, however, point out that with this being an interim budget, proposals involving long-term structural changes may not feature. Ten years back, the short-term measures used to occupy only about 10% of the allocation. But in last year's budget, it was about 90% of the allocation. So there are more short-term measures being prioritized where the farmers can see immediate results, immediate cash in hand. Farmers are fine with short-term measures that can put cash in their pockets, but say rollback of restrictive policies like an export ban or higher prices for their produce will also take precedence. The other ask is that promises being made in the budget be implemented quickly and efficiently. In Nashik, Santiago. Well, with that, it's a wrap.